Since that equation is given to you, you don't have to rewrite it, but you would need to rearrange it before you use it. Yeah, I would show the equation rearranged. How you get to that, if you can do it in your head, that's fine. All right, I do want to talk about this, and I, this is in your test review. Um, knowing the graphs is huge. Knowing the units with the graphs is also huge. So it's sometimes I think we just get so complacent and say, oh yeah, it's got a negative slope, that's first order. Or it's got a negative slope, that's zero order. Or it's got a positive slope, and it's uh, second order. But make sure that if I were to give you a graph that had curves on it, that you could also say, hmm, that's not fill in the blank type deal. So looking at, say, these first three graphs, did everybody find where this is at? It's in the test review, I think, on the second or third page, if you want to. So when we look at this, how would I construct this first graph here? Okay, so it's a zero order and it's concentration versus time. How would that look? Negative slope. I'll do the best I can to be straight here. Okay. Okay. Now, so is it close enough? It'll work. Um, looking here at the first order reaction, concentration versus time, how would you suspect that graph would look? It's a deceleration. Very good. So what's going to happen is it's going to look like that. In other words, we start off at the beginning with a high concentration. We have a whole bunch of reactants. That means that all the reactants are finding each other. They're having fun, making products. Bam. But as we move on in time, we start to run out of reactants and the thing slows down. How would a second order reaction look? It would look very similar, except it might be a lot faster. Okay? So, because again, when you double the concentration, or you half the concentration, or you quarter the concentration, then it goes even slower. So, these are, I'm going to say it, pretty crummy graphs, but it does a nice job. So, realize that when you're looking at a first order and a second order graph, when you're doing concentration versus time, you get a curve. You do not get a slope. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Mean. I'm mean, but I'm not that mean. Right. But what I may do is this. Like, let's pretend that this graph here is going to represent this. It's the same data as we have here. Okay. Everybody see what I'm saying there? So again, concentration versus time. I get a nice curve. Everybody agree with that? But when I plug in the values, and that's what we're going to do on Thursday and Friday, you're going to actually plug in the values, what type of thing should you expect for this graph? A straight line, yeah, you'll get a negative slope. Okay. So to answer Sidra's question, don't be surprised if you see two graphs that represent the same data, but the units along the side are different. That is legal. That is what you should expect. So can you do the other one? Yeah, so... What's that? Say it again. Not with a curve. That's dirty. Okay. Well, Be how do you, how do you do that then? <laughs> but you yesterday. You know that that's a dirty one. question. You give us dirty questions all the time. I know, but I prep you for it. No, you don't. Yeah, yeah just. <laughs> As long as the units are here, look and see, is it a slope or is it a curve? If it's a curve, ignore it. Seriously, ignore it. Because how would this look for a second order? Here, let me scoot this up. It would be a curve. And here's the thing. This is the exact reason why I'm doing this. 
Because what are the units here? Yeah, that would be a first one. Yeah, that would be a first one. All right. Now, there we go. All right. Everybody see where I'm going with this? This is exactly why I'm doing this, because this is what students miss on the AP exam. Because they're like, oh, whoa, wait, if it's, if it's second order, that's a positive slope. Make sure you know your units. So coming down here, <laughs> okay. so how would a first order reaction look if you did the inverse of the concentration versus time? What's that, Emma? Is it an acceleration or deceleration? Yes, very good. So it's going to do that. And again, on Thursday, you'll confirm this. So how would this one look? Positive slope. Okay. So, and, and don't freak out if I were to give you, not that, sorry, I don't want that. If I were to give you these two graphs. That's legal for me to do. They both represent the same data, but the units are different. Why? Okay. Well, what if you gave us these two graphs? What would the question be? What order is the reaction? Second. Because, yeah, make sure you can explain. Now, yeah, hang on. Okay, so let's say that you were given this. I don't know if I can do this. Let me see if I can. Right. Like, yeah. I don't understand. Ah. Uh, Mr. Craig, you broke it. All right. All right. So, I'm trying to show both of these on the right. So, these two graphs right here, don't be surprised. If you were given these two graphs, they represent the same data, but one clearly demonstrates or illustrates that it's a second order. If you're just given a curve, who knows? Because, I mean, especially with curves, curves could go either way. Everybody see so you're not going to give us a single curve. You're going to give us two. Oh, I sets. can't give you a single curve. But I could say that we have, I could give you these two sets, or I could give you these two sets, and you don't know which set I'm giving you, and you would have to determine whether it's first, second, or zero order, and be able to justify it. Can you go over and replace the Yeah, let's start with the second one. Go ahead. So, what do you okay. So, looking at these two sets of graphs, or these two graphs here, first of all, identify the order. Caroline, identify the order. Second, why? It says so on the screen. Why, Caroline? Because we have a positive slope when you're taking the inverse of the concentration versus time. That's all you focus on. So you just like just like reading what it is and then you just yeah. the graph. Yep. Don't talk about the curve, talk about the slope. Make sense? So you don't ever have to explain why this is curving. We don't care. This is what we care about. So when looking at the first order, if you have these two graphs, now we're saying, okay, this represents the first order because when looking at the natural log of the concentration versus time, we have a negative slope. Don't care about this one. But these do represent the same data. But the units are very, very different. Yes, no. Go ahead. Uh, can you go back to the screen? Yeah. Anybody have any other questions over this? Okay. That's a good start. I like that. So let me 